Hi everyone and welcome back to One Girl in the World. I'm Beverly and today we're going to be talking about makeup. Um, of course makeup wouldn't be as fun if we didn't incorporate something Disney or Harry Potter. Um, and so today's episode is really going to be about creating a look for every single Disney princess um, in addition to some bonus looks uh, using primarily just two palettes. So the two palettes today are going to be Violet Voss's Rainbow Palette. Brand new, just picked it up yesterday. I'll give you my uh, thoughts on it as well. And then um, something that I picked up a couple months ago, which I really love, and it's going to be uh, ColourPop's My Little Pony, I know I'm like five years old, My Little Pony uh, eyeshadow palette. So stay tuned and see which looks I've come up with. Disney has a lot of princesses and they each have their own colorways so it's really really easy to come up with um, some very very simple eye looks um, using these palettes. These palettes um, are very colorful and I picked these just because they are so colorful um, and they're very easy to pick out some great colors to match each princess. So follow along and I'm going to show you um, how to Apply these on your eyes, but also which colors go best with each princess. I'm going to also show you the palettes. So the very first one I'm going to show you is the Violet Voss. I picked this up yesterday at Sephora. Um, it's $30, which I think is really reasonable for the quality and the um, amount of uh, products you get. Each pan is very, very large. Um, it's, I believe, like either point. 0.1 or 0.11 ounce and it runs the gamut. I mean, it's called the rainbow palette for a good reason You have um, a pink a peach a gold a green a sort of aqua blue um, A dark indigo blue which uh, is called royal and then there's an actual indigo So I shouldn't probably use the word indigo to, uh, to describe the blue There's violet pearl which is an iridescent white and then Eclipse, which is a um, black, um, uh, black with, uh, I wanna say like silvery, bluish, greenish sparkles. So um, really great color choices, lots of variety. I have these on my eyes right now. They are super buttery. Um, I've heard that these apply better with your fingers than with a brush. However, today I applied them with a brush and I didn't have any problems at all. So all in all, I think a great palette. I've not used all the colors, obviously. I've Today for my look, I've only used Royal and Buttercup and both of those colors were phenomenal. So, and we'll get in, we'll get into my current eye look in a minute. So the other palette that I'm going to be using in today's video is the My Little Pony uh, and ColourPop collaboration palette, which I picked up, uh, I want to say maybe like three months ago or something like that. Maybe it was four months ago. And let me just show you the colors on the inside. Really adorable, really colorful. Um, I think that this is an actually a very good color palette because <clears throat> you have dark colors down at the bottom to um, you know give give yourself a little like outer eye look, and then there's a lot of mid tones, a lot of shimmers, but also there are some mattes. So there's one, two, three, four, four mattes. Um, and a couple of shimmers and I, I really really think that this is a good variety of colors and a good variety of shimmers versus mattes. So this is the other palette that we're going to be using today. I think another great palette to use if you feel that some of these colors might be too strong and you want a more neutral base is um, the Urban Decay uh, Basics. And I have Basics too because I feel like this works better with my warmer skin tone. However, there's Basics 1 if you have a cooler skin tone and you want to use that, that's perfectly fine. But you basically just need a, um, a, a matte neutrals palette. And the reason why that is, is that if you feel that these colors are too strong, you may want to just use the colors I'm recommending as accents. And you can use these um, sort of more neutral shades in, uh, on your lid um, and, it, and maybe even in your crease a little bit so that you're not um, overdoing the amount of color. I personally love color, so I have, I don't want to say no need, but I don't have as much of a, a problem not using these neutrals. But, you know, however you feel like you want your eye look to, um, to come out. But this is a very good palette. I really recommend it. 
Um, any neutral palette, um, even from the drugstore, will work. So just have a neutral palette on hand if you don't really um, wear a lot of color. I'm going to be showing you these looks in, um, in order of uh, the Disney princesses coming out. Um, I'm doing that just so that there's a rhyme and reason to as to why I'm doing um, these in the order that they are. Um, today's eye look is uh, inspired by Snow White. She was the very first Disney princess that Walt Disney himself created. Her movie um, has her in a dress that I'm sure is pretty iconic and the dress is um, made up of three colors. It's made with red, yellow, and then a sort of a dark royal blue. And so I'm going to insert a clip of my um, eye look today. Um, you can kind of see it from here, but if you wanted to take a closer look, here's the clip. And you'll notice that I'm using three colors. It's a uh, royal blue, a sort of goldeny yellow, and a, um, I don't want to say it's a red, but it's a red toned um, shade, matte shade in my crease. Um, all of these uh, princess looks today um, require three colors. Um, and I picked these three colors, one, because they work well with the um, colorway that the princesses um, wear, but also because I think that three colors is a great sort of middle of the road um, uh, difficulty level. So, you know, any more than that, I think that um, some of our less experienced um, viewers uh, who, who just don't wear makeup a lot may get a little um, confused and then any less and I think that the look doesn't really come together as well as it should. So I will um, show you the three parts of the um, of the eye look. So and that and I'll reference these three parts uh, throughout this video. So the first part is the crease and the crease is currently um, in this sort of uh, matte red um, tone and it is from the My Little Pony palette and it is the colorway Sky Dancer and I'll be using this color actually um, throughout a few looks um, in today's video because it's really the only um, redder toned shade in the palette. Um, a lot of the princesses have red tones like Ariel and, and Snow White and um, the, these two palettes don't have red and for good reason red is typically not a very popular eyeshadow shade but I think it comes close enough that it really does work. Um, then you have your outer eye and your outer eye is the part of your eye that's closest to your ears to so the outer side of your face um, and that today is colored in with the color Royal from the Violet Voss uh, palette. And I really like the shade, it's dark, but it's not very, very dark. You can till, still tell that it's blue. Um, and then the inner part of my eye, which is the eye that's uh, closest to your nose, is Buttercup. And those are the three colors that make up Snow White's dress. I will show you how to um, put together these looks. I'll reference which colors um, you can put in what part of your eye. Um, and that way you can cre recreate these looks um, yourself. I think that um, in the My Little Pony palette, there is a color called uh, Bluebell. It's not blue, so don't don't be concerned. It's actually a um, sort of like a light lavender, whitish, chalky pink, and it is a matte. And I think that that color is really great um, for just under your eyebrow. So if you wanna put a little highlight under there, that is a fourth color that you can use. Um, currently today I have a liquid eyeliner on in navy blue um, and I have a uh, mascara primer and mascara on top of that and I do have a little um, brow powder on. So there are other things which I'll list at the bottom of this video um, that I'm using in today's look. Um, my lip today is a Smashbox liquid lip. Um, and I'll show you actually how to put a um, lip topper, which is really popular these days, on top of it for a separate look. Um, however, right now I don't have the, the lip topper on. I'm going to show you um, each one of these looks so that you can recreate them using the guide um, that I, I just gave you uh, with the close-up of my eye. I'll note which shade within these palettes that you'll be using in what areas of your eye.
everyone. I'm back. And now that I'm finished showing you all the different eye looks you can do, um, I just wanted to show you how you can create this Gryffindor um, look with uh, a simple red liquid lip. I like liquid um, for this look because it dries down matte and when you apply the, um, the lip topper here, um, it's not going to um, get like all over the place. Um, you're not gonna smear your lipstick because it's already dried down matte. Um, so here's how to apply this. Um, obviously Gryffindor's uh, house color is red and gold. And so for Gryffindor, I suggest that maybe you do a red lip and it could be a darker red than this. I don't have a burgundy liquid lip and so I'm using this sort of like, um, almost like bluer toned red. However, you can if you have like, you know, the perfect sort of like maroon, um, liquid lip, you can go ahead and do that. Um, currently, I am using the lip topper from Urban Decay. It's the Vice Special Effects lip topper in third degree. Um, I really like these lip toppers. Um, I have them in several shades. However, today we'll be using the gold. It does dry down matte. So the way you apply this is not by um, applying it directly over your lips. I mean, I guess you could do that, but I think it's probably a little aggressive. Um, what I usually do is I apply it to the center um, of both my um, upper and lower lip and then I use my fingers to sort of like smush it down and apply it and, and, and um, spread it out a little so that it looks more natural um, and, and then you can also see the red um, coming out uh, underneath it. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So as you see it is quite shimmery. Uh, and so, you know, you really wanna manage how much of this you're putting on at once. You can always add more, but you can't take off. So you see, this is a really stunning lip topper. I think it adds a great dimension. Uh, so here we go. I'm just gonna very, it's not very pretty right now because, so you know, we know that we're gonna um, spread it out. There you have it. Um, you'll notice that when I apply this, I kind of stretched my lip out a little. Um, and you're gonna wanna do that just because um, most people's lips have like um, uh, wrinkles and creases in it. And you wanna get that product in there. If you don't do that and then you smile, you're, you're gonna notice like cracks in, the, um, in your lip where the product um, didn't apply to correctly. And that's not really gonna be attractive. Um, I know it's, it's, it's very loud, but if you're going to the theme parks, you're supporting your house. I think that this is totally appropriate I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you created some amazing makeup looks um, using these two palettes. Um, if you liked this video, hit like. If you like the content on this channel, hit subscribe so you'll be the first to know when I put up new videos. Um, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at One Girl and the World and or Twitter at One Girl underscore the world. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.